at this time, we are going to be recognizing in our church people who are always there, who are on time, and don't get me wrong, we're all sometimes funny, get there whenever you want, but I want to really um, recognize three persons today. Sister Petty, for her She's coming. Du Saint Prophet. And Brother Mackenzie. Sister Petty, I want to let you know that I really admire you. And you know that every time you come to church, we're all talking about evangelism, you being out there, no matter if the sun is hot, hot, hot. And you will take the books and you will take them out. And I want you to know, if Sister Petty got any little bit of cash, like donation, she will come to me, we will be out there, and I put it in an envelope so that it can go to the treasury. Sister Petty, this reads, Personal Ministry Community Servant Award, presented to Gloria Petty in recognition of your love for Christ and your unwavering dedication to sharing the message of his love and soon return with your community. Tabernacle SDA Church, Gart Dutton, our pastor. God bless you, please. Our dear brother that we all see, and I have a little secret. When we were looking um, after my son finished his um, tenure at Miami Springs, we were looking for a church to attend, and we were going back and forth. I wouldn't name the other church, but every time we went to that other church, something was going, something wasn't right. Um, either they didn't have any children, um, church, or whatever. So every time we, we decided between this church and that church, we'll come for a month and then go to the other church. But the day we came here, Brother Mac, Brother Mac greeted us, oh, with such a loving, wonderful heart and the smile. And let me tell you all right now, it is not pretense. He's still doing it after so long. And Brother Mac, we love you. And I just want to let you know, right? Let you know that God loves you. And you know that. Okay, so Personal Ministries Department Greeter Award presented to Stafford McKenzie in recognition of your outstanding commitment and service to the visitors and members of Tabernacle SDA Church. <laughs> your warm smile and friendly greetings Create a joy, a joyful atmosphere for all. Tabernacle SDA Church, Gart Dotton, the pastor. Thank you very much. And this one here, this last one is for you, you're not least though. It's for Jusson Prophet. And the reason why we're doing Jusson. Jusson, where are you? Oh, you're right here. <laughs> I thought he was somebody like, oh, anyway. Uh, Jusson, I just appreciate, and we, as a church family, and also Chad Henry, um, this started when he was serving as personal ministry director. We want to thank you for ministering to the young people in FIU, and they have been coming, and you have a ministry going on there. 
And we just want to say thank you on behalf of Tabernacle SDA Church. It says, Personal Ministries Community Servant Award pre presented to Jusson Prophet in recognition of your dedication to sharing Christ's love in your community and on F FIU campus through your thoughtful words and deeds. Tabernacle SDA Church, Gart Dutton, our pastor. And it's coming on behalf of all of us, our personal ministries department. God bless you all. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Happy Sabbath, church. Uh, pastor is not here as of yet. He's attending a funeral. He's on his way. He'll be here shortly, but he spent this morning at a funeral for Sister Mildred's good friend, Sister Ferguson in Lauder Hill. So I know his name is written on the plaque, and I wouldn't want to, to this opportunity to pass <clears throat> without just bringing kind of his thoughts as well to this process and just giving his gratitude because sometimes we think, and I'd like to speak about each of them, Brother Mac, you know, sometimes we think that it is a hype, praise, and worship that attracts people to church, or it's this, or it's that, but nothing is more effective than that personal relationship, Amen. and Brother Mac is at the forefront of that, right, because he greets everyone so warmly when you come. People have mentioned, we get emails about this young man that has greeted them so warmly at the front desk, so thank you, it's definitely appreciated. Sister Pettit, uh, sometimes when you walk out, and Sister Pettit, she, 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 she's following you in her, in her go-kart here, <laughs> and she's chasing you down because she wants more uh, stuff to give out, literature to give out. And I go, I'm going in the back, I'm trying to find stuff for her because she's on a mission every day. She's keeping it real on the street. So you know, a lot of us, we, we do our thing and so forth, but she is very intentional about the passing out of tracks and just doing what she can to plant a seed in the lives and minds of others. So Sister Pretty, we, we certainly appreciate and love you and the example that you've set for your continued dedication to personal ministry. And for Jusan, now, I've been not, a, not, a, not the leader of campus ministries, but I've been involved when I was at FIU 30 years ago. And <laughs> I, I'll tell you now, it's a much tougher job today than it was then. We're just in a far more secular society, right? People don't want to hear anything about God. And for him and the rest of his team and colleagues there to be consistent, and I'm following them on Instagram, and they're doing their thing, and they're planning programs, and really engaging people, because there are a lot of kids on that campus who are probably Adventists, first of all, who have come to Miami to go to school who want nothing to do with church, right? So it's good to have that reminder that, hey, we're still here, whether at Tabernacle or Temple, whatever the case may be, I don't really care, but I just want to say I appreciate you, what you're doing, because it does make a difference in the lives of those young people. So on behalf of the pastor and the rest of the church, I just want to say thank you all for what you do, and hopefully we can all follow suit as well. Yeah, is there anyone here at, L at, at FIU as well? Any of your teammates here? Yeah, there's a couple of, yeah. Who, who? They just, they just don't want to stand. Just stand so we may gaze upon you, please, for a moment. We want to thank you and recognize you as well for what you do in supporting that ministry there. Thank you. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. He Hello, everyone. Oh, y'all don't want to talk? Hello, everybody. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, you know now, my name is Jusson Prophet. Uh, I have my beautiful mom here, and I just want to say, like, my life has been, you know, like, I've been brought up in a church since a kid, and my mom is Adventist, my dad's Baptist, so I used to go to church two times a week. And you would think, hey, this person goes to church every week two times, they know Jesus, but, like, I just knew church, I knew it was a ritual for me. And then when I finally came here in 2016, I was dealing with a lot of a lot of issues. You know, I wanted to give up. I was depressed, and I went through a lot of stuff. But the people here really they really encouraged me and helped me move on. And then my life changed when I got rebaptized in 2019. And then also, also when I finally found out about ACF in 2022, it really changed my life because I realized I'm not in this battle alone. 
And that's why I'm such a big person on community because a lot of people leave the church because they don't have community. A lot of people would even take their lives because they don't think anybody cares about them. They don't think anybody loves them. And so I just want to know that you, need, you are loved by God and you are loved by each other here. So you need to be a community to each person you meet. And I just want to say, like, each and every one of you, I love you guys a lot. I, that's why I always talk. I make the jokes because one thing my dad always taught me is life is serious. I get it. But you need to enjoy life, too. Like, you get burnt out. You need to just take a break. Take it easy. You know, share a laugh or two. And just, like, any, anything you need, I'll be here. And I just want to say I'm praying for you. And just continue to pray for me because it's not easy. I just want to say thank you to those that we presented the, the plaques. Um, thank you for your service. And thank you, Personal Ministries Department. I know we have a lot of other people, but they're doing other things. So God bless you all, and thank you. <laughs>